Hello, Americans. <laughs> Here I am again. <laughs> we make a translation, you know, German to English. Nur ein paar Sätze. Just a few sentences. Ist ein Blick in die I want to give you a view of the future. How does this go on? Those are all things that will be continued, all the things that I've told you, the horse, what can we do better with the beamer, those will be continued. And now we are faced with one question. We have adapted the beamer in its signal configuration exactly to the physiological values of spontaneous basal motion. Exactly this central regulation system is what we wanted to adapt, and we have been successful in doing so. I have been asking myself for many years now, why are the changes of the uh, characteristics not greater? We have done these things also successfully. So the question, have the, uh, why are the changes, the, the characteristics not larger? We've done so much. We, have, we now have the latest in uh, research. And I will give you the answer. There are probably other periodicities, periodicities that we don't even know yet. They are changes in concentration in the time where different chemical substances are produced, reactions in the T cells of which we have some ideas, some assumptions, uh, the cell, the core of the cells, and I have first um, study results, but there are still a lot of other phenomena. In science, we only know a small part of all these phenomena. So I said, how can we approach this in order to inform everybody in all detail? I'm not young enough to do all those results. I'll do the following. This is what I always do. I'm looking for partners in, and experts in the disciplines that know more than I, or so I assume. Molecular biology, for instance. And I have allies that I can consult. And I'll do it just like the old Greeks used to do. I'm not going inductive into inductive research, that is to say, each individual path. I'm not looking at each individual individual path. I'll do a deduct deductive research. I don't have much time left, friends. I want to see, I want to live to see the result. I'm not young enough to have the patience that you need. Let's do a deductive research and listen. You will be amazed. We, we will look at those periodicities that might have a role of which we know just about how they function so that we can limit at, to looking at those. And then we'll try to deduct with a lot of patience. And then we'll try to, to get an influence and a result. And then when we have it, we have all the time in the world to think about how we can rationalize it and how we, how we can give the explanation. So we have done that. It was a long process. And I noticed so far we've had, we've had electromagnetic fields of a certain signal strength. And I thought, let's combine it with elastomechanical fields of certain configurations that has nothing to do with Beamer. We have looked, when do we have an optimal reaction of the entire system all the way into molecular biology and cell physiology? And we have been successful in doing so. It's a complete new world. I was amazed myself. At some point, it became known that we can use the effects. We know the effects of Beamer and listen and then stay quiet. Don't jump up right away. We can, uh, we, we can have the tenfold, twentyfold effect not just the not just the additive medicine we can go to causal therapies not just complementary therapies but we can go into the area of causal therapy and that's a great future and when you say what is he talking about he's dreaming 
Yeah, I had dreams. They're usually coming up early in the morning, and do you know something? Sometimes they're also becoming true. The patents have already been applied for, and they go around the world. We will do it. It will be an entirely new, different constellation. It will not just be complementary therapy beamer. It will be a system with high uh, resolution measuring uh, devices, and the computer can test you right away and find your optimal signal in two minutes. We're working on the software, and then you will get the signals that are the optimal strength for you. You will be amazed. You might say, this will be a system that we can't sell. No, you won't be able to. That's for a few special clinics in the world. But so why do it? No, friends, you will all benefit from it. We will break the ice in front of us. We will show you the way. This will help you as well, even when this device will at some point, and again, you will have to have patience, will be there at some point. People ask me every once in a while, Dr. Klopp, how long do you want to continue doing this? Don't you want to go into retirement? I think you're crazy. Now that it's becoming interesting, now that it's really becoming exciting, I will tell you there is something that is much more important, something that can't die, that is um, always alive. It's our idea. And that's what matters, this idea not the rest. The idea will not, you will not be able to delete this idea. Others will continue, continue it, procreate it, and my, I myself will benefit from that. I have to think in way into the future because these things take a long time. Imagine how long they will take until they land on Mars. Do you think I can be faster in microcirculation and microcosm? And one last remark, and then, then I'll be great. They will, they, they will be thankful because they'll get into the break faster. I am still working on refining the technology. I want to have new measuring devices because only through new methods uh, can we open doors. New methods are the true revolutionary element of research, higher resolution, better parameters, more beneficial parameters, and so forth. And uh, I'm looking at integral microscopy. So far, we've only looked at everything in a two-dimensional way. I am not satisfied with that anymore. I want three-dimensional. I want it immediately. I want to be able to take the computer and get reflexo spectrometry so that I only see the um, vessels. I want three dimensions, and I want the speed of red blood cells. I want that displayed on the computer. I want to see marked with color the hemo hemoglobin and, and um, oxygen saturation. And then you get a fifth dimension because speed and time are part of this. And you know what? We've already gotten one step further. We're in the seventh dimension. I also want to know how is metabolism in the uh, neighboring cells. And I've looked at the most uh, difficult, the aden adenosine triphosphate, ATP. I wanted to know, is it more, is it, does it become more or less? And uh, let's see with, uh, what happens with ATP after Beamer. That, for me, is the future. 
So please be quiet, trust me, and have patience. Great things, you can't do those in a rush.